What's up, Cereal Heads? Today we're going to talk about birthday cake pebbles from Post. This is a new flavor of pebble cereal and a long line of other pebbles varieties. This birthday cake version will be hitting shelves sometime in April, so keep your eyes peeled for it. And unlike other birthday cake flavored products, this one at least has some reason behind it. And that's because this year is the 50th anniversary of pebble cereal. The pebbles brand has been hitting us with all kinds of products to celebrate this momentous occasion, which started back on January 1st of this year, or rather December 31st of last year when Fred and Barney helped bring in the new year. Welcome to Bedrock! It's the 50th birthday of Pebble Cereal in 2021! Yeah, but do! It's not the countdown to the Bedrock New Year! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1! Happy New Year! And happy 50th birthday to Pebble Cereal! <laughs> And since 2021 began, we've seen a handful of Pebbles products, including a Fruity Pebbles cake mix, Fruity Pebbles protein powder, some coffee creamers, ice cream, some Fruity Pebbles and Cocoa Pebbles crisps, and even some Fred and Barney Funko Pops. And while I imagine we'll continue to see more Pebbles products this year, I feel like this birthday cake Pebbles cereal is the real piece de resistance of the 50th anniversary campaign. A new cereal flavor to celebrate the original cereals. But before we get into this box, let's not forget that this isn't the first cake-based version of Pebbles cereal. Back in 2010, Pebbles released the Cupcake Pebbles cereal. Here's a commercial for when this cereal came out. Here it comes, the first cupcake cereal ever. New cupcake Pebbles. Party in a box. And while this party in a box cupcake cereal isn't necessarily a birthday cake cereal, you can see Pebbles there wearing a party hat. I'm not saying they're celebrating a birthday, but cupcakes for a party, well, I'm not really sure how that would differentiate from a birthday cake flavor. Whatever, this was a fun and delicious cereal back when it came out. As you can see, this is back when they tried to center Bam Bam and Pebbles as the mascots on the front of the Pebbles box. They had a few varieties that featured them on the front of the boxes, but I'm glad they abandoned that and went back to Fred and Barney, the original spokesman for this cereal. Now, I wasn't making cereal time videos when this cereal came out, so I can't show you what the cereal looked like, but you can kind of see on the box here what the cereal looked like there were white pebbles with colorful sprinkles on them. The flavor was basically like a vanilla cake battery flavor, super sweet and confectionery. And we've seen a number of birthday cake flavored cereals since this, but this was one of the first ones to start the trend and still one of the best in my opinion. The back of the box here featured a pin the tail on Dino game and also some party name tags that you could cut out there. All right, enough about the old stuff. Let's move on to new birthday cake pebbles. You can see they kind of pay homage to that old cupcake pebbles cereal with the same teal colored box here. But from the front here, we can see the cereal definitely looks different than that old cupcake pebbles version. This one looks like pastel colored pebbles in blue, pink, and yellow. You can see Fred and Barney there with their party hats and some cake and balloons. And you can see up here it says collector's 50th birthday edition, which is just to get collectors like myself to immediately grab this box when we see it on shelves. And speaking of collector's edition boxes, there also appears to be another version of this box out there. Everything's pretty much the same on that box, except instead of teal, it's like a midnight blue color and there's fireworks in the background. Hopefully I'll be able to find that box as well. Now on the side of the box here, they have a recipe for dinosaur egg cake pops. Reading through it, it's pretty simple. You just make some regular cake pops from box mix and roll them into balls and then cover them with cereal. And then on the back of the box here, there's a big Pebbles birthday party in full swing. The whole gang is here. And for those unfamiliar with the Flintstones, let me just run through the characters that you'll see here on the back of this box. You have Fred and Wilma and Barney and Betty, obviously the main characters of the Flintstones. Then you have Pebbles, who's the daughter of Fred and Wilma, and Bam Bam, who's the adopted son of Barney and Betty. As I mentioned, they both appear on the front of many Pebbles boxes. Dino is a Dogosaurus dinosaur. He's the pet of Fred and Wilma Flintstone. Dino has had a couple of Pebble cereals of his own, including Dino Pebbles from back in the day, which was one of the best Pebble cereals ever. Baby Puss is a saber-toothed cat and Fred and Wilma's other pet, but he actually doesn't appear much in the show except for the opening credits when Fred tries to put him outside. Then there's the Great Gazoo, who's the weird alien that started appearing in later episodes of the Flintstones. Only Fred Fred, Barney, and the kids can see him. Very weird addition to the show. Hoppy is the green kangaroo-like dinosaur pet of Barney and Betty Rubble. Pearl Slaghoople is Wilma's mom. She doesn't get along with Fred. They have a very contentious relationship. And of course, there's Mr. Slate, who's Fred's boss down at the rock quarry. And now you know the whole gang, so let's take a closer look at the back of the box. There's a word scramble on the cake there, although I wouldn't consider that a puzzle. It clearly says, happy birthday. You have a little maze going from the bottom of the cake up to the top. And then they ask you to spot 10 things wrong in this Stone Age birthday scene. There are a few obvious ones, like like Barney's missing shoe, Wilma's snorkel mask, and Mr. Slate's backwards horn. 
but I won't spoil the rest in case you want to pick up this box for yourself. All right, let's open up this stuff and take a look. So here's what a bowl of new birthday cake pebbles look like. You can see the bright pale colors that differ from any other color combination we've seen in previous pebble cereals. And there's a strong vanilla cake scent coming off this cereal. Let's hit them with some milk and give them a try. Mmm. 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 I like it. I didn't think I would, but I really do. I mean, look, they're not reinventing the wheel here. The flavor is very similar to other birthday cake flavored cereals. But for me, this cereal form and shape and recipe are what make it superior to the others. Birthday cake Fruit Loops or Cookie Crisp or Timbits or Cold Stone or even that Annie's birthday cake bunny cereal. They're all fine, but none of them compare to the rice flakes of Pebble cereal. As someone who thinks we already have too many generic vanilla birthday cake cereals, I'm pleasantly surprised by this. But hey, if we're being completely honest, I don't think I've met a pebble cereal that I don't like. Speaking of which, I'm still holding out hope that we'll see those tropical pebbles that were rumored back in 2018. I was really looking forward to a citrusy or tropical fruit flavored version of pebble cereal. I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe they tested the flavor and it wasn't popular or maybe they will give it another go. Who knows, let's hope so. Anyway, that's gonna do it for new birthday cake pebble cereal. Happy 50th birthday to pebble cereal. You've had a great run and here's the 50 more years of success. I look forward to seeing what other fun marketing gimmicks Pebbles and Post have for us this year. As always, thank you for watching, and until next time, stay crunchy. Barney, my Pebbles. Cereal time.